name is Madeline Jorgensen, and I'm a junior at Gothenburg High School. And this is my poem, Ice Sculpture. My accomplishments and future goals are collectively a block of ice, slowly melting and slipping out of my grasp. I try and try, but somehow I always melt under the heated stares of others. I hear their thoughts put into words for no other reason than to torment me or see an embarrassed expression frozen on my face. The cold truth is I actually have many accomplishments am and involved in many things. These are, however, overshadowed. Medals, trophies, and awards from my past are small, singular grains of sand in the desert of people's frozen attitudes. No matter how hard I try, there will always be another sand dune that is higher than mine. Maybe if I am diligent in something that other than schoolwork, I will be seen as more than the girl that can help you with her math homework or translate for you in Spanish 3. I'll never give them the answer, just guide them in the right direction, but they want the quick, easy answer. The truth is, nothing in life comes easy, at least not for me. Maybe I will have friends if I do stupid things I'm totally against, if I copy someone's homework, if I never ace a test. Maybe I will be seen as equal if I wear a warm-up jersey with my name on the back, if I throw or shoot a ball, I am not really there. I can dance to my heart's desire, but they say a sport in which you wear makeup is not really a sport at all. I and my accomplishments are nothing to them. Speech, band, academics, and poetry, instead of volleyball, basketball, or soccer, my dreams to just melt into a lifeless puddle and flow into a sewer grate on the corner of worthless and ignored. Two streets that have become very familiar to me. If only everyone could accept that we were meant to be unique, we were meant to be snowflakes, but people focus on what makes us different instead of what makes us special, like deviating from the norm is bad. So they use those deviations and turn them into stones. So hurtful words are thrown out in hallways, chipping at the permafrost that holds those people together. Compliments build bridges between people, but I heard more hurtful words in the hallway yesterday morning than I did compliments in the last week. All of this swirls in my head. I know I shouldn't let others melt my dreams into a lifeless puddle. Instead, I should use their icy words to help keep my dreams solid. Someday, I will have the courage to build an ice sculpture. And on that day, I will be okay with being the only piece of shining ice in the desert.